Welcome Taurus, welcome to your energy reading for the last two weeks of December 2022. I hope you're doing well. And uh, this is a general reading, uh, energy reading of what's coming up for you in the last two weeks and how to navigate through the energies. And um, as you may know by now, I do not do tra traditional tarot reading. I'm doing energy read and um, just picking up on energies and channeling the messages through. Okay. So I also like you to know, Taurus, that I am doing a general reading or general sense of what 2023 will be like for you. So do watch out for that video. Uh, it will come out before the end of the new year, okay? So we're going to pick seven cards for this reading, Taurus. And we have the Earth Child. Three of Swords. The Midas Touch. This is not the first time you're getting this Midas Touch, right? Six of Crystals, Eight of Swords, Two of Crystals, Ten of Wands. Okay, definitely end of one cycle, Taurus. Very strong end to the cycle, which is appropriate, you know, coming to the end of the year. Um, not many signs are ending cycles at the end of the year. Sometimes, you know, at different times of the year. But for you, it's a very strong end of one cycle of your life's journey. You're entering into a new phase. Very interesting, Taurus. Um, some of you are hoping to birth something new. Um, the energies on this particular card is about birthing coming up, birthing a new project, birthing a baby. Maybe some of you are already pregnant. Um, Maybe you're thinking about, you know, a new projects that you want to take on, that you want to embark upon, either professionally or on the personal capacity. And you are working with uh, perhaps researching, right? Getting more information at this stage. And you're not quite sure which direction to take as yet. Um, because, you know, whenever we end a cycle of our lives, right? Everything feels like brand new. Everything feels like you're starting all over again. So maybe the sense that you are having, Taurus, is something like that, right? Because um, you're starting starting a new cycle in your life's journey. Emotionally, ooh, why am I picking up my energies of regret? Are you regretting something, Taurus? Um, quite a strong energy emotionally. Um, feelings of regret, feelings of... I should not have done that or I should not have said this kind of um, energies. The only guidance I can give you with regards to that is to take it as a lesson learned and not to guilt trip yourself into thinking like, okay, I made a major mistake. I am unforgivable. Everyone is entitled. Everyone is entitled to be forgiven, right? And you included. So you need to forgive yourself first. Learn from the mistake, you know, whatever it may be. And then uh, go on from there, right? Don't hold yourself back uh, from mistakes that you may have made. This, I feel, has more to do with your personal life, you know, these mistakes and your relationship with people, connections with people. Um, if you are now living in regret, like thinking, oh, you know, I should have kept in touch with so-and-so or I should have made friends with so-and-so or I should have widened my social circle, along those lines, right? If you have those regrets, um, just know that the new year will present many opportunities for you um, where you can widen your network, right? And don't make the same mistakes that you made previously so that you can, you know, maintain the kind of connection that you want with people, people that you care about, people that you know are going to be good and healthy for you, okay? Um, emotionally, very, very contemplative also you know the energies well it's a good thing you know i mean if you get into a, a state of mind where you feel you need some you need to wind down you need to think things through and think about your achievements everything that you have achieved in 2022 and you know all the success and victories that's good that's healthy that's claiming ownership right and not to it's it's Interesting, you know, the energies here. 
um, the sense of regret has to do with personal relationships, has to do with people kind of connections and the successes <clears throat> that you are experiencing or you have experienced or you are contemplating on successes, things that you have achieved, um, they are they have nothing to do with people, but everything to do with like finances, um, things that you have acquired physically. Um, yeah. But I, I feel that, you know, maybe you're, you've come to a realization that having things, having a reputation or having having a status is is not as important as having good connections with people. That's the energy I'm picking up. So this may resonate with some of you, Taurus. Um, if it resonates, I'd like you to know that, you know, there are things that you can, you can do to right the wrong. So if you feel like you have done some people wrong, it's time, you know, to make amends, right? Do something different. Do something that is much more empowering for yourself and for other people. There is a fear of communicating, communicating how you're truly feeling. So that may be holding you back from truly uh, moving into the full forgiveness gear, so to speak, and also uh, communicating about your feelings, right? There's a big fear about that happening. Um, I would... Now, Taurus, if this message is speaking with you and you have this real fear of, you know, um, keeping in touch or communicating people that you have wronged or you feel wronged by them and, and you are holding yourself back because there is this real fear, I would highly recommend that you seek help, you know, um, seek help from a professional, right? Go for psychotherapy, work through the stuff, don't bury it. Because burying your stuff never ever gets anyone results. Never, right? We we need to work them through. And that's the thing about emotional baggage, right? We work through them. We don't avoid them, we don't suppress them, because the avoidance and the suppression just makes it worse. And inevitably it becomes an illness or a disease that we inflict upon ourselves. Now I'm not giving you medical advice or wellness advice or anything like that, right? But I'm just sharing with you, you know, about how important it is. And based on the energies that I'm reading up, you know, in the cards here, uh, it feels as if it is something really important for you to do, um, especially in the last few weeks of 2022. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, if this message doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't resonate with you, just, just leave it, okay? Um, okay, so... Okay, as I've said, you're ending one cycle, right? Entering a new cycle where it requires you to be far more, far more open-minded than you have ever been. So maybe it's taking you completely out of your comfort zone. And you need to be really, really much more open-minded as you enter into the new, new phase, um, new cycle of life, because there's so much gonna that's gonna take place for you in the new year. So much, and if you are operating from a from a like a black and white kind of perspective like things are either yes or no then you will find yourself getting stuck in um, your perspectives you're not able to navigate through the various levels of truths you're not going to be able to navigate through um, certain knowledge or truth and how to apply it situationally because we cannot just look at things as black and white and apply the same principle in every single situation. Life, life doesn't work out that way, Taurus. Right? Every situation is different. And truth, degrees of truth has to be applied in each situation very, very differently. Because life is made up of, you know, like people and experiences, and and no one is made from the same cookie cutter. So you cannot apply one logic and believe that everyone is the same. It's not the same. That seems to be the thing, the theme that's coming up from your mindset and, you know, the energies here are um, encouraging you to push beyond that boundary, that self-imposed boundary that you have placed on yourself that may not necessarily serve you in the long term if you keep to that, you know, rigidity, okay, would be the term. Let's pick a clarifier for this. I feel that, you know, we need some... Uh, some help in explaining this 
to you. This has to do with mindset and the rigidity that it can cause you to um, be less open and then you might find that you enter the new cycle uh, unhappily. That's not what we want, right? Creative, okay. So this is good advice, you know. I mean, if you find, a place, find yourself in a place where you're looking at life as black and white, up or down, where there are no in-between, there are no grays. For you, it's just black and white. There are no gray areas. It's important to have gray areas, right? Because life has lots of gray areas. And so to activate that part of yourself where you are able to, to look at things in the gray areas, use your creative energies. So draw pain, think, and act in creative ways. That can activate other pathways within your brain to be able to see things from a much more expansive perspective. Change. The changes that you're going through are positive, right? Very nice. Good confirmation telling you that ending of one cycle, the old cycle, and you have certain realizations, and you are changing. And you are going through a transformational process, Taurus, and it's good. It's all good, okay? So one more. Very deep transformational process, Taurus. Welcome it, okay? Even if it feels like it's unknown, even if it feels like you're jumping off the cliff without a safety net, it is fine. You will be okay. True, okay? Yes, it's true. You will be okay. Now, we end, I mean, looking at all the cards, right? We end reading with a really nice card. Um, this is about new cycle that you're entering. So you're definitely entering, ending one cycle, entering a new cycle in 2023. 20, uh, and, you know, there are unlimited possibilities laid out for you. Very nice. And the unlimited possibilities can help you uh, creatively. And here you are encouraged to believe before you see. Because perhaps in your mindset, right, you are the type that says seeing is believing, but you are encouraged to believe before you see. Very nice one. Just to throw in, throw that in a little bit just to bring you out of that fixed mindset, right? So um, I would encourage you to get the book. Um, I think it's called Growth Mindset or Growth. Um, is by Carol Carol Dweck, right? So it's about fixed mindset versus growth mindset. Read the book and it can move you out of a fixed mindset because growth mindset allows you to see things beyond and see the gray areas. I feel like this book would be good for you. I mean, if this, res if this resonates with you, right, and you have trouble moving out of the black and white and not able to see gray, then I highly recommend this book to you, okay? So this card is Solitude. You need some time alone, right? Contemplative time. End of the year season, I feel it is uh, very useful for you. So look in the book, so journal. Read some uh, educational, expensive kind of book to open your mind, right? To move out of the black and white perspective, move into seeing things um, situationally, seeing things in ways that are not rigid, that are not, Really, it's about, you know, believing before you see. That message really, really, you know, says it all. Okay. So with three cards that popped out your path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusion. So a lot of trust is needed. A lot of letting go needed, Taurus. All right. Free yourself from that, the confines of the rigidity and, and really let go. Grounded, many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So be fully grounded. Divine abundance, you were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. I feel this is a message about these two cards. Remember what I talk about? Um, there are energies of regret here where you there's a realization that people relationships are far more important than material things and you you seem to have successes in those areas in gaining materially but lacking the human connection and this particular card here right is telling you um 
you don't have to chase the abundance. <laughs> All right, you really don't have to. Know that you are already it. You know, claim it and then just allow and work on the people connection and people relationship. Okay, Taurus, I feel like this is, um, for your reading, right, is, is as if some fairy godmother or old grandmother is trying to pass you some messages. Uh, maybe it's coming from your ancestral line, coming from ancestors, maybe it's coming from your uh, divine guides, uh, giving you a little, you know, kick in the butt, <laughs> so to speak, like a wake-up call, right, telling you like, hey, you know, look here, Taurus, you really, really need to get out of that fix or fixated way of looking at things and fixed mindset and, and open yourself up and you open to love and right. This is opening to love, even though this energy also signifies end of one cycle, but this definitely is about opening up. Okay. So Taurus, I wish you well, uh, do watch out for the reading for 2023 and I will see you again. Bye for now.